Ten months have passed since the earthquake and tsunami that touched off the nuclear crisis at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. Today, the U.S. ambassador to Japan visited the site, and Lucy Kraft went inside the hazardous, restricted area around the plant for a rare look at the cleanup effort. To get inside the government-designated no-go zone, we had to put on biohazard jumpsuits, face masks, and we carried Geiger counters to detect any radiation hotspots. We passed rolling pastures and persimmon trees, silent now since 90,000 residents fled the nuclear disaster nearly a year ago. Our destination, 10 miles north of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, where the Japanese government has started an ambitious cleanup to make the area safe for humans to return. We're at a site in the town of Minami Soma to see a demonstration of how to decontaminate the soil here. The plan is to rid buildings of radioactive particles and remove much of the topsoil from an area about the size of Connecticut. Radiation levels still remain dangerously high. He's explaining that this is an area of around three microsieverts per hour. Unlike other areas, this is primarily residential. Microsieverts measure the amount of radiation detected in the air, and even three microsieverts is still 75 times higher than acceptable levels. Radioactive cesium can collect in twigs and leaves, and workers must remove them all. Rooftops, another radiation trouble spot, were scoured with high-pressure water. But it was the cleanup of a primary school that officials are most worried about. These bags contain the top inch of soil. It's highly contaminated. It's about to be buried right on the side of the school. This time in the playground. The lack of dump sites means hazardous waste is buried where it's dug up. That takes the radiation out of the air. A spokesman for Japan's Atomic Energy Agency told me by lowering the radiation, we hope to convince parents and children to return as soon as possible. It will be a tough sell. While elderly couples generally want to return to their homes despite the risks, many families say they'll never come back. As we exited the no-go zone, everyone was thoroughly scanned for radiation. Nothing out of the ordinary was found. This cleanup was a trial run, but the government says it will begin a full-scale effort later this year. Lucy Kraft, CBS News, Fukushima.